right. We got uh, Steve Merrill here. Steve and I get together every Thursday, typically, and record these segments. And, and you can find them on all the team channels. But uh, I asked Steve to go live with us today. Just thought it would be a fun thing to do to talk a little bit more beyond just the matchups. Talk about the landscape of uh, wagering, where it stands. And I, I always learn a ton from Steve. And so I tap him for as much as possible here. Uh, UCF, Steve, is coming off a game in which they took Oklahoma right down to the wire. They were just as good if you didn't know who was who. And they were coming off a series of games in the Big 12 where they were not close. Uh, They had a 28-point lead in their Big 12 opener against Baylor and blew it. Gave up 29 consecutive. And actually, there was a stretch in that game going to the next game against Kansas, Steve, where UCF was outscored 60 to nothing. They gave up the final 29 to Baylor. They gave up the first 31 to Kansas. Were blown off the field in that game. Just have not competed in the Big 12. Then they show up in Norman, and <laughs> they take Oklahoma right down to the wire and uh, lose on a failed two-point conversion. Uh, West Virginia was a bit of a darling uh, out of the gate. They lost to Penn State, but in the Big 12, got a couple wins, and people were... Uh, surmising that maybe West Virginia might be a Cinderella this year, but they've come back down to earth. They lost by a couple touchdowns against Oklahoma State. So now UCF's a seven-point favorite at home against West Virginia. Yeah, and the quarterbacks obviously had some injuries at time, you know, So, and we have to keep an eye on that as well. Um, Game simulation actually favors Central Florida by 10 in this one, so there is some line value here. I just don't know about the spot. You know, I think they did lay it on the line, like you said, against Oklahoma, yet they came up short. And I've always said tough losses, I think, linger and cause letdowns more than big wins. You know, so we go back to the Cavaliers, Virginia. I'm not so sure Virginia lets down. I think that could be a momentum builder for them. But you do worry about Central Florida. Uh, They've now had four straight losses. They've gone one and three against the spread in those games. And let's put it in perspective. The only teams they've beaten this year were Kent State, a down Boise State team, and Villanova. Uh, They've gone 0-4 in the Big 12 since then. So, I, I do think even though there's a little bit of line value based on my ratings, I'd be a little cautious with them this week. Uh, they are an explosive offensive team, though, and they're much, much better than West Virginia. Um, I think West Virginia probably has to keep this game low scoring to keep it under 59 if they want to keep it within the spread.